predicted. We think it's coming. Pretty sure. Predicted. So, <clears throat> um, storms will be coming. So let's go back here to good advice for driving. Oh, good one. Drive carefully. Notice L Y. It tells us how to drive. L Y on the end. This is from yesterday, and we'll just kind of go over this. This is an adjective. Tells us what kind of driver. A careful driver. That's the kind of driver. But now we're talking about driving. We're talking about the verb right here. Drive carefully. L-Y on the end. So what else? More advice. Wedding of Allah Khalid. this word? Remember this one? Yeah. It's that funny word with the TH but you don't hear it. Close. Yeah. This is my my clothes today. Some people will say clothes but it doesn't come out well. Close. Uh, when I'm in my car maybe I like this, but I have my coat in case car problem. I have a coat. What else? Advice for driving. What? Another directive? A negative one. Yeah. So these are the, those imperatives that we talked about. Drive, have, don't use, tells us. Um, don't use your cell phone. And we, um, what else can we think of? What? Road. Slide. So, what should we do? So. Okay, drive carefully. If it walk. Slow down. Slow down, right? Mm -hmm. Slow down. Uh, <clears throat> uh, your brakes. What are the brakes on your car? Brake. The brakes are what stops your Stop car. car. So they say. Change. Check. 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 Check your brakes. Take a look at this word right here. Brakes. In English, many words have two spellings, two different meanings. Oh, I 
right here. Car brakes. <laughs> Stop. Okay. Another direction. Now this is the thing, brakes, here they are. I can buy them for sale things, but now it's an action. I'm going to brake. I push the brake and I brake. So it's both a thing and an action. Both things. Break. A break and break uh, with your your foot. Which foot do you use to break? Right. Which foot do you use for the gas? Right. right. How about if you push the brake with the left foot and the gas with the right foot? Right. Have you ever seen anyone do that? Yes, right, left, uh, right. They, they tell you in driving school, only use your right foot for brake, for gas. Because some people, they put one foot on the brake and one foot on the gas, and the car is going crazy. Yes. Um, so, different spelling, different <coughs> meaning. What's this one? Break. 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 Rest. What does it mean? Take one, take the break, take it. So take the time, time. Rest. 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 Time. Yes. Broke. Do this. I break it. Now it is broken. Broken. Break. More advice. Oh, don't break your leg. Yeah, it means to to uh, hurt, to harm, to destroy. Break. The window. Okay. okay. If I have something. Right. That would break the window. Too many parts break. So, same word, different meaning. Or it same sound, different spelling, different meaning. Uh, one more before we start. I have one more word that came up today. After. What does it mean? Before, after. Next. Pardon? Next. Maybe. Um, okay. 
So if I said, um, after I have lunch, I'm going to go to work. That means first is lunch, then later is work, after. So it's time. So we have before, before, after. before and after. So before breakfast, I wake up. After I wake up, I have coffee. Before and after. But sometimes it comes up with other things that's not just time. So here we have alphabet letters. Okay? We'll go here to D. What letter is before D? C. What what letter is after D? A. A. So that was when you said, uh, uh, Fatima, you said next. So sometimes it's not time, it's place. Time and place, before and after. Um, <laughs> next. Next. What does that mean? What's next? That's it. That's it. What is next? When I say what, it's going to be a thing. What, what would be a thing? <laughs> What's missing? <coughs> what is missing? A, B, C. So, A, B, C comes before, but it's missing, not there. These are some of the things on that test that I should have reviewed with you, but um, you did very well. Okay. Um, many people on their car, the newer cars, have what's called ABS brakes. ABS. It's a little, uh, shows up on your dashboard, it says ABS on. <clears throat> um, what does that mean, ABS brakes? Yes. What happens? The brake has a computer in it. And so if you have ABS brakes, you put your foot on the brake and the car will stop, go, stop, go, stop, go, and keep your car from going side to side. ABS brakes. Yeah. I know, I know that in the old days, when I grew up, no ABS brakes. Um, and when you would stop, you would do that yourself. Instead of going... The old car, not the ABS. Yes. You put your foot on the brake, and it starts to slide, then you go, you pump yeah. the brake. But today, ABS, you just let your car 
It's smart. It's a smart car. It has a, all these computers. And it tells your car how to stop. Um, ABS brakes. Uh, I think that's the last one there. Yesterday, moving on to this, and we did adverbs with the L-Y words. I think everyone here has that. And, uh, and for today, next one, this is a little bit of a review. My hands are so dry. If you can get one apart and give it to Nabila. Take one and pass them. Take one and pass one. Uh, we did it. Oh, we didn't finish that. Pass that out. If you have page 59, this is for yesterday. This is for today. But, uh, Take, uh, take out from yesterday, yesterday, page 59. 59. On the bottom, we didn't finish. 59 from yesterday. Extra <laughs> I need one. 59. I need one. Anyone else? Yeah. 59? This part is very good. That's for today. You need that. You need that one. Yeah. <coughs> okay. okay, on page. 59, Part B. There are 10 questions. There are 10 questions. Please answer the question. And use the words in the parentheses to help you. So the example is what do you want to do? It's a question. And the answer is get a good job. Now we want the whole sentence. I want to get a good job. Notice, once again, in question and answer, if it's asking you, you answer with I. If, it, if it's an I, you switch it to you. Give that a try on your own, or you can help each other. I'll be right back.
Was it Ishrak? No, Ishrak. Silva? Room 206. Two, the woman? Yeah. The she, woman that came here? here come Silva. Yes. Okay.
my sign-in sheet. Who's missing? Who's missing? Is everyone here? Uh, Nabila, did you sign? Okay, um, let's uh, do this together and uh, we'll start uh, uh, on part B, we'll start in the back and move forward this way. And Fatan, would you read the example? Okay. Very good. I want to get a good job. I'm going to put these up. One of the things we talked about here, I want to get. 
So we that's an infinitive. Some people will say, I want to get a new job. Leaving out these little words that mean a lot. I want to get a okay. good job. So we would not say, I want to get a good job. Use those little words. It's much better. Uh, next one, uh, Kalud. Number one. Yeah. Repair. Repair. What does that mean, repair? Fix. Fix. Very good. Uh, Abdul Kader, number three. What does Anna want to do? Anna wants to be alive. Alive. Uh, well, do number two, we missed two. What do you plan to do? I plan to go trade school. Okay. I plan to go to a trade school. What is a trade school? Trade school. Like what? Trade. Computer. Computer. Mm, it could be. Uh, a trade is a skill that has a name. So, for example, um, if I want to build houses, maybe I will go to carpenter school. If I want to be a plumber, do we know plumber? Yeah. What is a plumber? Pipe. The pipes for water in your house. Yeah. I want to learn that. That's a trade school. How about fixing the lights? Who does that? Electrician. Electrician, yes. How about if I want to be a barber? What is a barber? Cut the a person who cuts the hair. Trade school. A skill that we have. Trade school. They call it a trade school. The other word that we had before was vocational school. A trade is some a job that we a, uh, a a job a very specific kind of job vocation same thing. Uh, Oni, next one, number three. Again, a little louder. She wants a try alone. Okay. She wants to be wants to be Tony. To be. To be. Be. To be a lawyer. What is this? Lawyer. Lawyer. What's that? Advocate. Person law. Advocate. Attorney. Yes. Okay. Uh, lawyer. Uh, notice the question was, what does she want to do? So now to do is going to change from to do to be. So uh, it's a little change, but that's just how we speak. Um, next one, Arafat. Number, number five. Number four. Uh, what does what does any Anna? 
Huh? What does what does Ina need to do? Go to she, she she needs to go. She any need? What? She need to. She need to go to the universe. Go to go to universe. Notice, I plan, I want, I like, but she wants, wants. She, she needs. needs. Now this is where sometimes we forget these little words. To go to a, a university. Um, and uh, back here with this one, this trips us up a lot. The E and the Y. B, 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 E, B, M, E, me. Number six over here below. God, don't she plan? No, number five. Number five. Number five. Number five. She uh, don't, don't. Hold on, let's read the question. What don't. Doesn't. Push. Yeah. <coughs> Say, what doesn't. What Now the answer. I'm off one here. What's wrong here? You do. Oh, this was the example. I got the numbers wrong. That was the example. So, what's the answer here for number five? She. She Number five. She plans. She plans. She plans to get. Well, there's a doesn't there. We have to deal with that. But so it gets married later. She what? Only. She doesn't. She doesn't what? To get married soon. To get married late. In the future. She doesn't, she doesn't plan. Plan. So if they, if it says here, what doesn't she want to do? So we answer, she doesn't want to do this. This is the negative. Notice with she, he, or it, it's doesn't or does, not do or don't. We'll review number six. Uh, Fekri, number six. Number six. What do you want to do? I want to do uh, I want to go to uh, a bachelor's uh, degree. Bachelor's degree. I want to get a. Hey, Butter, how are you? Good. Um, 
We're on number six. You down here, better. Pardon? Had, a, had an appointment? Mm -hmm. I had. 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 Yeah. Past tense. I had an appointment. Uh, what is a bachelor's degree? Bachelor's, Four years. bachelor's degree is usually a four-year program. So the way in schools in the U.S., you have high school, then college, or trade school, or vocational school. But if you go to college or university, the first degree you get is a bachelor's degree. Then more school, master's degree, and so on. Yeah. We'll talk about that at some point. So um, that word, bachelor's degree, is a kind of diploma from a college. Bachelor's degree. But this word, once again, bachelor. What is a bachelor? Bachelor. Single. Someone said it. Single. Single what? Singular what? Man. A singular, a, uh, it means not married. A man who is not married is a bachelor. bachelor. Okay. Okay. Um, a bachelor is a man who is not married. A bachelor. Are you married or are you a bachelor? We decide. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Uh, pardon? What is there a word for that in Yemen? Yeah. Unmarried man. What? Unmarried man. <laughs> you have to teach me more Arabic. Yeah. Uh, number seven. Number seven. Arif? What do you need to do? Study hard. I need, I need uh, to study hard. This is one of our words from yesterday. Yes. Yeah. Hard. <clears throat> you know, hard, but that's not that one. Mm -hmm. So I work hard, lots of work. Put a lot of energy in it. Study, hard means lots of studying. Notice, no L-Y. Yeah. No. no if I said, I need to study hardly, that means not study. I'm going to watch TV, play on my cell phone, go visit friends. Different meaning with that L-Y. Uh, number eight, Imran. What do you have, you have to do? I have to do Great day and John. I. What's this word? Hope. 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 Long O sound. Hope. To what? I hope to what? I hope to. Hope. 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 I hope to do great day. I hope to what? Graduate. Graduate. So when it says, 
What do you hope to do? You don't say, I hope to do graduate. You just say, I hope to graduate in what? In June. Take a look here. I hope to. I hope to. Oh. oh. When you have the E at the end, the vowel gets a long sound. This mean Rob. Rob. Music. Uh, Rob. No, that's that's something different. Rob means to steal. Rob, steal. Steal. Uh, steal. I'm in the store. Give me your money. I'm going to rob you. Rob. To steal from you, Rob. Rob. What's this one? Robe. Do you know robe? Like uh, a heavy coat goes over you. Bathrobe. Do you know bathrobe? Robe. Long robe. Oh, long and short. Long and short. Uh, number, where are we? Number nine. Jamil? What does Habib want to do? Learn English. He wants to learn English. He wants, notice, he wants. wants. <coughs> to learn English. E, English. And the last one, Adnan? What doesn't he need uh, to do? Talk uh, to a counselor. He doesn't need to talk to a counselor. Very good. He doesn't need Talk to a counselor. Counselor. What is a counselor? The missy. Pardon? The uh, Yes, you have them there, but counselors with an S, I'm sorry. A counselor. A counselor is a person that helps you with a problem. So at the embassy, you have a consul general or a counselor to help people with the problem with the embassy. But schools, in the US system, if you have kids in school, they go to school, they have a counselor that talks to kids about 
things in general. Is there a problem when you get to high school? What classes do you want? Where do you want to go to college? Do you want to go to college? That person is called a counselor. We also have people that have problems with life. So for example, maybe someone in my family died and I'm very sad and I can't, I can't work. I'm so sad, I don't want to get up. People go talk to somebody about it. That person is called a counselor to help them with the problem. So, um, as a lawyer, uh, a lawyer is for the law. For the law. Yes, but in school, it's for how you, how you feel, and also what classes do you need. So, um, anyone here have kids in high school? Yes. Um, they have a counselor. Where where do they go to school? Yes. What school? Hamtramck High School. High School. They have two counselors there. Yeah. In the high school. So it is now in what grade? Ninth. Ninth grade. So in the spring, the counselor is going to talk with them about what do you want to take in grade 10? Will you take this math class or this math class? Will you take business or what classes do you want to take? School counselor. Um, okay, any questions on this? I had one more thing and I can't find what it was. Um, all right, we'll stop with that. And I think I passed out the next one to most of you. Page 60 and 61. Do we have that? Yes. Everyone? Otter, do you have it? 60 and 61. And you didn't sign in. Sign in. This is practice on doing this, these infinitives. I like to repair cars. When we speak, if I said, I like repair cars, that's not good, it's not clear. Someone will misunderstand you. I plan to go to a trade school. I would not say, I plan go to a trade school. You have to have the infinitive, to, to eat, to read, to sleep, to work. That's called, with the to in front, T-O, it becomes an infinitive. Um, so take a look here uh, at the, um, Directions up at the top, and um, Fatima, let's read up here at the top, across on part on page 16. It is, it's important, I take it, infinitive press to have a high school diploma or a GED. Okay, so we just read the whole thing, you don't have to give the brackets. No. One more time, Fatima. It is, it's fun. Important, now do the number one again. Oh, again. It is, it's important to have a high school diploma or a GED. We know, all know high school diploma, yes? High school diploma? Mm -hmm. High school 
Spelling. What is GED? What is it? Degree. High school. What is it? Diploma. High school. After high school. In the U.S. system, if you go to high school, you graduate and get a high school diploma. But then maybe you stopped going to school and did not finish high school. And now you're 25 years old and you're too old to go to high school. Too old, can't go to high school. So you go to school and get a GED. So it stands, those are letters that stand for certain things. So G, E, and then D. Those are letters for a word. Graduate Equivalency Diploma. So it stands for High School Diploma After You're Too Old. G, E, D. Hamtramck has that. Horizon. Horizon has that, yes. Horizon has GED program. And there's a guy who's my friend who teaches that. His name is MD. Mohammed, anybody know him? Feroz? No? Yeah, Have you met him? Yes. Nice guy. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. So GED. Mm -hmm. um, so uh, it is it's fun to assess the intern access access the internet keep going it is not isn't not necessary to own a computer it isn't it's not hard to learn english very good okay uh, what does that mean access the internet what do you think it means Here's my computer. I'm trying to get on. The signal is not good. I can't access the internet. Here's my computer, but no internet. Access. It means, it means to get something, to be able to reach it, to have it, access. Um, uh, Nabila, let's go down to the words in the box. You can, you can uh, use an uh, infinitive, infinitive after the following uh, adjectives. 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 Yeah. Read them off. Please, yeah. What's the, f the D word? Difficult. Difficult. Oh. So you want you to read yes. these, yeah. Difficult, expensive. Expensive. Expensive, good, hard, uh, interesting. Interesting. Interesting, easy, fun, great, uh, unbear. Important. Necessary. 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 Notice the word difficult, and then you see the word hard. What does that mean, difficult? Difficult. Hard. 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 It means it's hard to do something, not easy. Not yeah, yeah. Easy. Yeah. But we also use that word hard in, diffi in different ways. So, for example, I can say, it is hard to fix my, my car. It is difficult. It is hard to do that. But we also say, the man works hard. Different meaning. So we have to get used to hearing how these words are used. Um, we're, we know expensive, yes? Yeah. yeah. If something is expensive, it costs a lot of what? A lot of money. If something is expensive, it costs money. Money. 
Lots of money. How about this word necessary? What does that mean? Necessary. Must. 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 Yeah. Um, let's take a look down at the bottom here where it says circle the correct sentence. In the example, they have two sentences and we have to decide which one we like. The first one says, it's important to have a degree. The second sentence said, it's important having a degree. Which one do they like? One or first one or second one? First one. The first one, to have. They're trying to show you about using that to in front. So I'm going to give you a couple minutes, take a look at these, and then we're going to read through these together. Circle them. Find the one you like, circle it. Okay, let's, uh, uh, we'll do these together, and so um, we'll start in the back again. Uh, number one, Fatan. Which one is the correct one? Go ahead, example. It's important to have a degree. Okay, and then number one? The second one, it's not expensive to go to a community college. Now, what is a community college? Pardon? But what is a community college? It's not the same as a university. In the U.S. system, you have college and you have university. A university is big. It has many colleges. For example, we are very close to a major, a big university here in Detroit called Wayne State University. 
And in that university, there is a College of Engineering, College of Education, College of Medicine, College of Nursing, College of Accounting, College of Base Business, many, many, many colleges. We also have people that go to that college to get a four-year degree. That's it. They want four years of school. But some people say, well, it's too expensive. It costs a lot of money. So they go to a community college for two years. Two years school. There's one, there are several here. One of them is called Wayne County Community College. Another one is called Henry Ford Community College. It's in Dearborn. There's another one in Warren, Michigan. Do we know Warren, Michigan? Macomb County Community College. You go there for two years, then you go to a bigger school. So community college, college, and university. It's part of the educational system. Um, community college is usually much cheaper. So for example, if you live in Wayne County, anyone here live in Wayne County? Wayne County? Wayne County. Do no. you live in Wayne County? Yeah. yeah. Yes. Does anyone here live in Warren? No. No, I have some students in my afternoon that live in Warren. They don't live in Wayne County. So if you live in Wayne County and you go to Wayne County Community College, the money you pay is less. So it's not expensive. We'll talk about that at some later time. Um, so it's the second sentence Fatin read to us is the correct one. So uh, number two, Kalad, number two. Number one, it's important to listen carefully in class. How do we listen? Carefully. Yes. Uh, Abdul Kader, number three. It's good to participate in class discussion, discussions. It's good to participate in class dis uh, discussions. The first one. Okay. It's good to participate in class discussions. What does participate mean? Present. It means to join in. Join in? Yeah, to do something together. Participate. Yeah. Uh, number four, uh, Oni? This is interesting. To learn something new. It is uh, trying to learn something new. Second. I'm trying to see the difference. The difference is the S. So the one. Lairance, Lairance. Oh, yes. Lairance, Lairance. Number one or number two? Two. To learn, no S. Yeah. yeah. It's interesting, to learn, no S. Something new. And Arafat? It is bound to talk. To, uh, it is bound to talk. It is bound to talk to other students. Okay, read it again. It is bound to talk to other students. Okay, you got the right word, but let's pronounce it. Uh, 
This one, that LK, comes up AH when it has a letter in front of it. Walk, AH. You don't hear the L, but it's there. Walk. Long, you, you make the A sound long. Walk, talk. Chuck. 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 Do you know chalk? Chuck. Chalk. In the old days when you had right on the board, yes. you used chalk. chalk. Now we use marker. Dry erase marker. Okay. Uh, where are we on this? Uh, number six, what? Okay, and uh, butter, next one. Six. It's not. First one or second one? No, uh, one. Butter says one. It is second. 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 second one. Second one. It's not difficult mm -hmm. to do well if you study. Because to do well. To do. To do. to do well if you study. Number seven, Bilal. It's not hard or successful. Uh, it's not hard to be successful. First one or second one? Second. Second one. Second one. It's not hard to be successful. Second one. Yep. And Fekri number eight. With a, a diploma, it is easy to get a, a good job. With a diploma, it is easy to get a good job. First one. First one. With a diploma, it's easy to get a good job. Bravo. Um, Bring this back tomorrow. Anyone coming tomorrow? Yeah. Yes? Yeah. The weather should be okay. Anyone coming Friday? No. no. <laughs> Anyone coming next week? No. 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 The library is closed next week, by the way. So if you come to use the computers, door is locked. Sorry. I come tomorrow. Pardon? Are yeah, you coming? You have an appointment. I, that's what it was. This one. I gotta work on this one. We know what these are. This is where we have to make sure that we, when we speak that our words are clear. Appointment. Appointment. Apartment. Apartment. Not the same thing. So if you say, I have an appointment.
appointment, it means you have a meeting with something. And if it sounds like apartment, what? Be misunderstood. Have a good day. Drive carefully. Enjoy the sun. Feels good. Enjoy the winter. Yeah. <laughs>